everybody. Today I am working on a 12 by 36 canvas. It is um, probably the biggest one I've done so far. I um, had watched a couple of videos from Melly D and she had done a few um, on these bigger canvas so I thought I would give it a try. Um, I had tried to do this black and white thing before and I had done a different style, a different technique, and I ended up losing it. So I'm going to try it a different way and we'll see what happens. So the colors that I have, I have this red, and that is from the Fine Touch and it's crimson red. And then I have some yellow, and that is yellow medium, and that's from the Fine Touch. And then I have black and white, and the black is black from the Fine Touch, and white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And all my paints are mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of water. So what I plan on doing is a couple puddle pours and hopefully moving it around a little bit so I can still keep, hopefully keep some of the negative space at the end. So we'll see. So I'm going to start with the red.
right, we'll go in for a little closer view. I let this sit for about half an hour and some cells popped up. I didn't want a bunch of cells, so uh, that's why I didn't really add anything else but some natural cells popped up, so that was that's all right. And I really like um, how this looks. I'm very happy with it. This red part, this thicker red stripe, on both sides, you can see the cells that popped up right along there, and then through the middle, and then right at the end, I got some. My favorite part, though, is this thin, there's my fan, uh, this thin yellow line. I'll turn it this way so you can see it better. Um, a little bit of red there, but I do really like how that looks. Looks very cool. All right. So I'm going to let it dry for a couple days, and then I will show you what it looks like all dry. Okay guys, I wanted you to see this painting all dry. It looks really, really nice. So now I just have to wait a few weeks and then I'm going to seal it and then it will be nice and protected and ready to hang up on a wall. And if you are interested, I do have links in my description. Um, it won't be in my Etsy shop for a little while. Um, you can also contact me through my Gmail. It's tracylreed at gmail.com. All right, thank you guys for watching.